Hey everybody, Milton Davis here. Um, it is eight o'clock and tonight I'm here to do something that I have never done before. I'm actually gonna do an unboxing um, live. And there's a reason that I'm doing this because this is a special book. This is a book that I've been waiting on for a long time and it finally came. I actually got here a little earlier. So, um, box right here. So let's see what I got. That was easy. And here it is, y'all. Here it is. The book I've been waiting on. One of the most special, most significant books that be released in Black Spectre Fiction uh, since Black Spectre Fiction began. And it is Conjuring Worlds. It's the textbook, an Afrofuturistic textbook for middle high school students created by B. Sharice Moore. Um, this is, like I said, one of the most important releases to happen in Black Spectre Fiction since I've been in Black Spectre Fiction since 2008. And the reason that it's so it's significant is because this is actually a textbook. Everybody knows um, over the past few years, everybody's been talking about Afrofuturism. We've been talking about Black Spectre Fiction. We've been talking about Sword and Soul. We've been talking about African fantasy. We've been talking about African futurism. We've been talking about so many different aspects of creative act of creative creativity coming from black creators, creators of African descent, cre African creators that have been in this genre and has been changing the genre for years now. And and I would say right now we're probably um, hitting our stride when it comes to that. And B. Sharice Moore has taken her time and her energy and has contacted a number of these creators and ask them to use different things that they've written and has developed a curriculum basically based on their work. I mean, look at this book. This is, this is amazing. <laughs> look at this. Um, of course, we got a letter from the editor herself, B. Sharice Moore, and we've got a table of contents that lists different books that she's able on different essays from different authors that she's included into this book and that she's basically um, come up with lessons for uh, their work. Um, I, I can tell you um, a few years ago, um, Sharice got in contact with me about Amber and she wanted to develop a curriculum based on Amber because Sharice is a teacher. I mean, she's a creative person in so many different ways, but she's a teacher as well. And she saw there's some value in the book to be taught as a lesson plan. And um, I mean, I think when she was doing that, what was really in her mind was doing something like this, doing something like this textbook. And if you haven't, if you are a teacher in any kind of capacity, if you teach your kids, if you're a homeschooler, if you work at a private school, if you work at a public school, and the conversation is going on right now about um, Afrofuturism and um, people wanting to understand it more, this is the book right here. And the amazing thing about this is that Sharice did it herself. This is a self-published indie book. Um, this was not done in combination with any other publishing company out there. Um, she took her time and her energy, um, put together a team to develop this book. And like I said, it's amazing. Um, of course, I'm looking at my, I'm looking for my book here, but, but I mean, she, she, was, she contacted so many different authors and put, put so much time in to develop this book and to develop these different lessons. And, and I, I, I myself, I can't wait to go through it because I mean, I, I wanna read it. I'm, I've already shared it with friends of mine who are teachers. I've already told them about this book. Um, she's already selling them. She's already got two, um, I think there was two um, summer school um, programs that are using this book um, to educate and to teach young children about Afrofuturism. Now, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time talking about Conjuring World tonight. And the reason I'm not going to is because on July 7th, I'm gonna be interviewing B. Sharice Moore, not only about Conjuring Worlds, but about her other, all her other um, creative endeavors that are going on right now. I mean, um, she's basically been a, a whirlwind, a tornado waiting to happen. And over the past few years, she's been happening. And I think, and this is one of the major, um, one of the major uh, creations that she's putting out. So if you have not seen this book yet, if you have not purchased this book yet, I would, I would advise you to go to Amazon and check it out and purchase it. If you are an educator, check it out. I mean, look at what the book is about. Look at what it's offering the people that you can, um, that, to the students that you can teach. 
Um, I know, like I said, there's been a lot of questions about Afrofuturism, about all types of black speculative fiction. And this book is a good way of moving forward to answering those questions. Um, I'm going to check my comments for just a little bit here. Uh, see what y'all are saying around here. Uh, hey, Sharice. Hey, Rodney. Yeah, Rodney, this is a huge book. It's a thick tome. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited about what's going on here and what and what um, Sharice was be able to, was able to do and what she's been able to create. And I'm really excited about the fact that you know that children and students have an opportunity to pick up a book and not only read these stories, but also get in depth and 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 look at you know what they're about. Talk about you know some of the places that uh, people are um, talking about going to and different things like that. I, again. Um, I shouldn't probably uh, say too much, but let me um, listen to. I mean, some of the authors that are, that have um, contributed to this. Um, you got Zeta Elliott, you got Kanisha Williams, you got L. M. Davis, you got Troy Wiggins, you got um, P. Jelly Clark, um, you've got Linda Addison, um, you got Maurice Broaddus. and you know, those of you who have been in science fiction and fantasy for a while, you know these names. You recognize these names, and these are all people that that contributed something that they created to this book, and that Sharice basically took these and, and um, created lessons on them. Um, I'm looking in this table of contents because, being the selfish person that I am, <laughs> I'm looking for I'm looking for uh, where is it right here? Here it is. Here it is. Page 219. Let me find it here. 219. 219. Here it is. She's even got a section about Amber and the Enchanted Sword. I mean, check this out. And then on the side, she has a little area that says, let's talk about it. So she has different, you know, different areas of discussion that people can, uh, that teachers can use to, to discuss the book and discuss aspects of the book. So again, like I said, this is a groundbreaking tone. This is a groundbreaking text. And um, if you are just hearing about it now, go to Amazon and check it out. If you've already heard about it, put your order in and get it. Um, if you have, if you know any teachers, any educators that that are interested in Afrofuturism or or just have some kind of curiosity about it, let them know about it. Again, Conjuring Worlds, B. Sharice Moore. Um, I will be interviewing her on July seventh, um, uh, and she will be uh, be part of my. Um, um, I forgot the name of my own program. <laughs> It'll be part of my Eleven Questions Special Edition. So make sure you look out for that. And hey, y'all have a great day. Take care. Peace.